Today, a special report as we go inside the D.C. jail. Our segment producer, Allison Kenworthy, introduces us to an inspiring woman who's been teaching art to inmates for three decades. Hi, hi. Hi, 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 hi. They come, they sit down, they need me, they need help. I show them, uh, they show each other, they show me. We, we all work together, we help each other. I would maybe fix the face a little bit here. I feel like I'm escaping mentally. Art just takes me out. She's great. She's patient, she's caring, she's sharing, and she gives a lot to this program. There is so much talent. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. It's like opening the door and it all comes, it fl flows out, or opening a window, and all the talent, all the, everything flows out, and they just develop, and they develop so fast, and they do beautiful things. I've learned um, how to mix colors. Uh, my primaries, some of my secondaries. I'm still kind of struggling with that. I've learned um, how to shade, how to bring things more to real life. This is my most uh, treasured piece. The cricket here is a still life that I drew it from. So maybe you can see some resemblance. Do you need the stencils? Yeah. Art has the power of healing the soul, the body, the, every, the mind, everything. It just, it takes you away, you become creative, you do, you create beautiful things or funny things or ugly things. Every time it's a new experience and every time it's a learning experience and every time it's a freedom. Every week I look forward to it. This is like a vacation. Actually working on a car for my daughter's mom. We're working on our second child. So just to show that I'm happy for her and I hope she makes it through okay. Mia is like a mom's, a great mom's. Ah. Oh, we have a beautiful relationship. Uh, she's like a mother. See you later. Okay, see you later. Yeah, okay. Great story. To view more of the work, visit lordenartprogram.org. TBD segment producer Allison Kenworthy, who shot that story, joins me now on set. Mia's full name? Mia is Mia Chumenkovic. It's uh -huh. a mouthful, but she is an incredible woman. Who's, she really is. She is. She started this program just about 30 years ago, and it all sort of happened by happenstance. A friend called her and said, Mia, I think you'd be great if you would design this program for, um, at the time it was the Lorton Prison in Virginia. She said, okay, of course, I'll do that. Uh, fast forward 30 years, and she's still doing it. What I like is the reaction from the inmates because, right. you know, we get these stereotypical ideas about what prison inmates are like or how they're going to react, but, you know, it brings out their gentle side, if, if that's the way you want to describe it, but, they, but it's a nice diversion, I'm sure, from what they've got going on throughout their normal day. Absolutely. As one inmate said, his name was Warmel Reams, it, um, it's an outlet for him. It, it's a mental escape. Their mm -hmm. mind is off of all of their problems and the art really soothes their souls. How do they treat her? Like a mother. Uh, at the end of the clip, you did see a few of the inmates giving her a hug, um, but what you didn't see is that almost every single inmate hugged her before they left. They look forward to this class every week. They have class every Friday, and um, they, they treat her like a mother, a grandmother. I mean, one of the men, Ricardo Murphy, has known Mia since 1990. Wow. And um, something else that's interesting is Mia has quite a few students who, once they're released, go on to pursue art professionally after uh, jail. And one guy in particular um, just graduated from the San Francisco Art Inst Institute and is going to no be completing kidding. his master's program. That's so amazing. So there's incredible talent. I enjoyed the story. Allison Kenworthy, thank you for thank bringing you that for to us. Me. See you next time when you have yes. something for us, all right?